In this iMovie 11 video, we're going to talk about importing footage and creating an event at the start of your iMovie project. So you'll see below this gray toolbar here, I have uh, some event information. If you go over to the bottom left corner, you'll see the event library. And in here, you'll see that I have several events under 2011. And the one we're looking at right now is called Zoe, which is the cutest puppy in the universe. And I have imported several weeks of footage as Zoe as a puppy that I'd like to make into a video. So over next to the event library, you'll see all the, um, the clips. Um, the very bottom left corner shows that the thumbnails or the individual frames of footage that show in the event browser um, is five, every five seconds there's a new frame created. You can change that, you can make that more or less, but that's the default setting, which is generally quite appropriate. Uh, Zoe, you will see in the viewer on the top right corner, and indeed she is the cutest puppy in the universe. So I want to bring in more footage of Zoe. I'm going to go under the file menu, import movies, and I'll navigate to the desktop. So what I'm bringing in right now is a video that I've already um, dragged and dropped into a folder on my desktop. You could also be taking this directly from a hard drive camcorder connected to the Mac. So you'll see it under devices as a white drive and you'll be able to navigate to the folder there. You have that choice as well. So I'm going to select all the video that I want to bring in. I'm going to add it to the existing event because I've already created one. But if you are starting fresh, you can create a new event. Uh, optimizing the video brings it in in a way that iMovie can digest it. It's not necessary, but for some editing uh, options it is, so at this point I'm just going to do it. You can choose large or full size. This isn't extremely high resolution footage, so I'm just going to choose large, and I'm going to choose to copy files instead of moving them from their existing folder. So while this is importing, I'm just going to mention that if you're in the editing room and you're bringing in footage from VHS tape or mini DV tape, uh, look at the help guide that's on the desktop that will show you exactly what you need to do. You basically need to turn on the equipment that's in the rack there, so for the VHS um, input you're going to want to turn on the VHS DAC as well as the input output box above it which translates the signal from analog to digital. Um, if you're using mini DV you're going to just turn on the DAC and load your, load your tape in. When you want to input that kind of footage you're going to click on this little camera button on the very uh, left side of the toolbar and it'll bring up a window that will allow you manual or automatic import. For VHS, you're going to have to go manual, so it doesn't really matter what you pick. You're going to have to control the VCR with a remote there. But if you're doing mini DV and your time code is continuous throughout the tape, then you can do an automatic import. Um, but if your tape, uh, your time code on your mini DV tape isn't continuous in that you have blank spaces on your tape between clips, you're going to have to go manual because iMovie won't know when to stop and start. So you can see we have our lion footage here. Um, I'm just what's called skimming over all my footage by just dragging my mouse, not clicking or anything, just dragging my mouse over my footage. And we'll just scroll down here and you'll see I brought in some new video. So here's Zoe uh, chewing on her lion. And I mean, really, she is the cutest dog in the universe.